Picture this, on your morning commute, you're stuck behind a garbage truck. Suddenly, it catches fire. It's very possible that the fire was caused by a phone, laptop, or another device that uses lithium ion batteries. Here's why you shouldn't toss them in the trash. Turns out, there have been four minor garbage truck fires in Halifax over the last year caused by these batteries. Landfills are at risk too. I talked to a fire chief who responded to a landfill fire recently. Danny Patterson, fire chief at the rural community in Nova Scotia, remembers four others in the last few years. The hazard usually comes when the battery is crushed. Inside these batteries, there are positive and negative conductors known as anode and cathode electrodes. When the battery is crushed, these might come into contact with each other, causing the battery to increase its temperature through a process known as thermal runaway. And since bulldozers are used in landfills and garbage trucks have compactors, well, you know what can happen next. These fires are no joke. Managing solid waste shouldn't be a situation where people are put into danger, and they are too often. Um, and it's just a matter of a careless move by a, by a resident could dramatically impact uh, somebody's health. And in some cases, they can impact local communities as well. The landfill in Chester, on Nova Scotia's South Shore, has caught fire twice in the last six months. Lithium-ion batteries were suspected both times. In one of those cases, the municipality had to issue an air quality index for control as the fire burned through the waste in the landfill and produced toxic smoke. Making matters worse, the water used to put out the fire became contaminated when in contact with the waste, so it had to be treated to avoid leaching into nearby ecosystems. So doing your part in the disposal of such batteries is important. You can visit calltorecycle.ca or recycleyourbatteries.ca to find out the nearest location for battery disposal. I spoke with a professor at Dalhousie University who says municipalities should explore other options for accessibility. We have yearly pickups for metal and you know big things like refrigerators and stuff. Maybe there needs to be a, a yearly pickup for for your batteries. You put them in a in a bucket and you put them out on the street and the, they get picked up. All experts agree on one thing. Proper battery disposal can prevent harm to people, the environment, and perhaps one day, that garbage truck you're stuck behind in traffic. Juliana Grillo, CBC News, Halifax.